welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your hedge fund headlines. Today is Wednesday, March 12, 2008. Citigroup will infuse some $1 billion into six municipal bond-focused hedge funds suffering from the latest market downturn. Marketed under the names Asta and Matt, the half-dozen HFs with a combined $15 billion in assets under management represent the latest alternative setback for the investment bank. The New York Times says the six hedge funds are selling some securities and Citi has provided the equity, which will be distributed on worst-come, best-served basis. Staying with hedge fund news, the Philadelphia-based law firm Drinker Biddle and Wreath has announced the formation of Task Force to advise its hedge fund and private equity clients. Drinker Biddle is kicking off the task force by issuing this week its first in a series of client newsletters devoted to SEC initiatives and other emerging issues affecting the hedge fund industry. In other hedge fund news, Canadian institutional investors' love for alternative investments is growing stronger, though not for hedge funds. According to Greenwich Associates, allocations to alternatives have shown steady growth, mainly in real estate, which accounted for 8.4% of Canadian institutional assets in 2007. That's up from 5.5% in 2006 and 5.3% in 2004. Private equity exposure surged last year as well to 5% compared with 2.6% in 2006 and 2.2% 2 .2 in 2004. Canadian institutional investors are demonstrating less interest in hedge funds as allocations to the industry continue to slip from 1.6% in 2004 to 1.5% 1 in 2006 to 1.2% 1 last year. And in hedge funds news in Asia, persistent reports that hedge funds have been engaging in manipulation to, to the detriment of Australian companies has prompted Australia regulators to move aggressively. According to Dow Jones Newswiser, Newswires, several companies have seen share prices plummet recently with fingers pointing to short sellers namely hedge funds as the culprits. The Australian Securities and Exchange Commission has confirmed formal requests for information from a number of market participants about trading in certain securities over the past weeks, involving false and misleading rumors or predatory trading, has begun. The regulator says it has been in contact with fellow regulators in the U.S., U.K., and Hong Kong to help. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our hedge funds channel online and read the latest developments.